Now we've just wanna, went over some of the terminology of um, polynomials and we also have some very special names for some particular polynomials. For instance, a polynomial that only has one term is called a monomial. And a polynomial that has, let me do that, highlight that, and a polynomial that has two terms is specifically called a binomial. If we have three terms, we call it a trinomial, and everything else is just called a polynomial. So those are the only three things that you have to really remember there. Now let's uh, work a problem, or some problems, and see uh, what they want us to do here. The first thing that we're going to do is just identifying degrees of polynomials, and then we're going to decide whether it has a special name, or if it's none of those. It's a monomial, a binomial, a trinomial, or nothing special. So let's look at this first. We have a polynomial, because remember, our polynomials have no negative exponents and no fractional exponents. So this is a polynomial. The highest power of the variable is a 5. So even though this is written in the wrong order, that's okay. This would still be a degree 5 polynomial. Now because it has one, two, three terms, then this has a special name of trinomial. Okay, we're going to do a few more here. All right, looking at this one, we want to know what is the degree here. So looking at the highest power of the variable, which in this case is m, looks like the highest power would be 3. This is a degree 3 polynomial. Now it has 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. We don't have a special name for a four-termed polynomial. So this, according to their directions, would be none of these or the best way to say is it's just a polynomial. Polynomial. Okay, let's look at this one. This is a polynomial. It is a constant term, but that's okay. It does have a degree here. And do you remember when we talked about that even though we don't see a variable here, there technically is one? That would be an x to the 0 that's technically there. So this is um, actually a degree 0 polynomial. And because there is only one term, then that has the special name of monomial. Oh, I didn't spell that correctly. So sorry. Monomial hard to do two things at once there. Okay, looking at our next example here, we have x plus 2, so we need to know the degree of this, and even though we don't see one, there technically is a little 1 there. You know, any time that we don't see a number, we assume it to be 1. So this would be a degree 1 polynomial, and because there are two terms, then this would be a binomial. Now, last example of this type. Here we have another polynomial, even though it's a very small one, but our highest power of the variable in this case is a 12, so this is a degree 12 polynomial. Now we only have one term here, which means that this is a monomial.